We're here by a boat ramp by a river. We're gonna go down and see whatever we can see. We might see animals, fish, other wildlife, bugs, plants. We're just gonna go have a look and see what we find. This is a nice boat ramp. Yeah, it doesn't get a lot of use. But it's here if you need it. Well, it's maintained. See how much dirt they've taken off of it. There goes a goldfinch. Going back to Iowa, where he's a state bird. <laughs> Is that the state bird in Iowa? Yeah. What's what's South Dakota state bird? Pheasant. That's from China, man. <laughs> China had its hooks into South Dakota decades ago. We don't we don't uh, acknowledge that. We don't discriminate. Uh -uh. Well, I see I see a track red right here. Right there, you see that? Right, right, crawling up that bank. Oh yeah, coon track. Must have been a young one. The older ones would have went around. You think? Yeah. Here's about a size 11, I think a uh, Adidas. Adidas? Adidas. I don't think Adidas is in business anymore, is it? I don't know. I bought my first pair of tennis shoes that I ever bought in my life since high school last summer. So, I'm not a tennis shoe guy. Did you buy Adidas? No. What kind did you buy? Uh, black ones with white bottoms. I, I don't know what they are. Huh. Tennis shoes don't impress me. I spent my life in either work boots or hip boots. So, I'm a non-believer. You don't buy brand. Well, you don't think brand is a... You don't feel the social pressure to wear Air Jordans or something yeah, like that. Yeah, I'm not pressured. Not by that, anyway. When I, when I finally start, started not having to be right all the time, you can't imagine how much pressure that takes off of a guy. I, I I understand. Yes. Who uh what what was the uh the change? What caused the change? Um, I can't rightly say. I just remember at some point it got just got tiring to be that stupid. You ever you ever, I'm sure you've known guys that are very proud of their shooting abilities. Yeah. And, and, and so they put that pressure on themselves. And so the second they miss something, man, I'm on their ass. <laughs> Just because you're an American white guy or an American male. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't mean you can shoot good. Yeah, you never brag about your shooting. You never brag about how good your dog is. Oh. Because as soon as you do, they're going to go out and do a retrieve and they're going to sit out there and eat your duck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dog dog stories. Yeah. We got, we had this, my brother raised um, rat terriers for a while. And he had some, he sold some and then he had some that he couldn't get rid of. So I agreed to take one named Spot. It was a black and white dog named Spot. And I got it home and I brought it in the kitchen and my kids were little then. Matt and Aaron were still about about that big. And my daughter Aaron goes, can I take the dog outside and play with it? Yeah, just keep an eye on it. She went out the back door and I looked out the dining room window and that dog took off running north and it never stopped. I went up the dirt road beside the next section. I could see it running around out in the hay field out there. And <laughs> 
found it about three weeks later, three miles from home up the Highway 59. It was staying at a farm. Just let them have it. <laughs> so I got Whitey, which was the, I don't know if it was a brother or sister to spot. And I never knew dogs could get car sick. But this dog, <laughs> you'd drive about 10 miles and start doing that, that dry retching. <laughs> And I don't know how many of my hats that thing puked in. <laughs> <laughs> then I'd take like pork chop bone or a steak bone and leave it right in front of my bedroom door so when I come out in the morning barefoot, I'd step on a bone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, you, you and dogs aren't a good mix. No, no. Nope. Show them your hand. Show your hand. You got recent. That's from a dog bite there. He loved me. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh well, I was I've always been a trapper and trappers and dogs don't really go that well together. I I don't know if I could agree with that, Red. Boy, there's not uh, two woodsmen like us. We should be able to find some tracks. Scrounge up a track, Mark. It's in an interesting track. I mean, we've got the coon track. Here's the deer. What, what can you tell? Can you tell me anything about that deer track? He didn't make the cut for a Disney movie. Because he's obviously still here somewhere. He's going that way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Headed north. Kind of lost our focus. Yeah, we did. The old dog track. Here, a fisherman left some, spit out some sunflower seeds. <laughs> yeah, is that your theory, how those seeds got there? Yeah, because they're, um, most of the sunflowers that grow wild are not the big striped Russian, the gray Russian ones. They're those little black seeded ones. What would these indentations be here? Was there a horse down here or a cow? Horse or a cow. I can't tell they're so wallowed out. Probably a cow. I bet it was a cow. One thing I will say. Whoever comes fishing here is taking their garbage with them because sometimes you come to these places and it's, you could spend your whole time here picking up trash and yeah. it's very clean. Yeah. And the water doesn't look that scummy either. We should have brought our fishing poles. Oh, what do we got here, Red? Is that some kind of track I'm seeing there? Or is that just my imagination where well it almost looks like mink toes there but I'm kind of there yeah I don't I I can see where you could think that but I don't think it is okay that's red's uh, very cordial way of uh, telling me I'm I'm imagining things <laughs> Well, here's a here's some kind of canine or what's this here? Uh, I'm just stumbling by him. It's real round, so I think it's a dog. Okay. Coyotes and foxes are oval shaped, and dogs are round. And there are there are toenail prints, so it's not a cat. Yeah, there's more deer tracks. Hey, Red, what's the deal with Ovaltine? I mean, the can's not round. Or oval. Why don't they call it Roundtine? <laughs> Was that taken? Yeah, that's, that's Seinfeld. I got that off of Seinfeld. Ovaltine. Ovaltine. <laughs> 
wicked sharp every time you pick it up. And every Weeby knife comes with up to 24 replacement blades. After all, it's a Weeby. Order your replacement blades today with a $5 flat rate shipping on any sized order at WeebyKnives.com.